Plenty of track and field action for you this week on WOSN. Earlier tonight on the West Ohio Sports Network, D3 action from Troy. On Saturday night, we'll have the D2 finals from Dayton with Jocelyn Ayers and company. Today, the Bath Wildcats senior trying to reach Columbus and qualify for the finals. To get to Jesse Owens and a beautiful day at Welcome Stadium. We start with the pole vault. OG's Colin Lobenthal. No trouble clearing 13 feet. He finishes fourth. He's headed to state. How about the girls high jump cold waters? Kelsey Rammel up and over 4-10 here. And light is Aubrey Williams trying to clear 5-2. And the Bulldog would do just that. She finishes fifth, though. She's a state alternate. How about the discus? OG's Anna Bellman. First throw of the final goes 119. A toss of 121 and 2. Finishes her fourth. Bellman is in the state. Bell Fountain's Jasmine Haley trying to continue a run of 32 consecutive years. A Chieftain has made it to Columbus. She does just that. 122 and 5. Second place. Brenda Johnson actually predicted that throw. She gets it. <laughs> Haley is in the state. How about the girls? 4 by 8. Alter wins 934.34. But Sarah Kenny in cold water. Second place. 943. The Cavs back to Columbus. Versailles. Finishes in eighth. The ladies are D2 for the Tigers this year. The boys D3. They switched. OG finishes 11th here for the boys. Four by eight. The Titans qualify third place. Bandwork finishes sixth. Team results through day one. Wasion has 11 points. You saw Coldwater and Bell Fountain getting their eight each. On the boys' side, 21 for Wasion. The Titans, they have hopes of getting a regional title. 11. They qualified quite a few for the finals on Saturday. 